Hello and welcome guys. In this session, we are going to discuss one more interesting topic in .NET Core 6.0 Web API that is file upload and download. So how we can upload file in our Web API and how we can download this, that file from the Web API. I have already created two videos for upload and download for .NET Core 3.1. I will give the link on the video description. If you are interested, please check it out. Guys, before starting the session, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell icon for future notification. And if you ended up liking my video, give me a like and give me your suggestion in the comment box. Let's get started. So for today's session, I am using Visual Studio 2022. I am creating a .NET Core Web API project. So I am giving file upload download. Okay. Next, I am keeping .NET Core 6.0. I am for now I am not keeping HTTPS. Click on create. Give it a few minutes, it will create. Okay. Our application got created. So we have our in our controller weather forecast controller program.cs and weather forecast this model. I'm adding one more controller here, which is be used for file upload and download. So I'm adding web API empty controller. And giving the controller name as files controller. I need of this route. Now my first my thing is to create a API to upload our file. So we have created a API upload file, and the response type will be two hundred. Okay, and four double zero bad request. It will accept parameter i from file. This i from file is from the interface asp.net core .http i form file and a cancellation token. Here I am going to upload my file and I am going to upload into my solution or in the server. So for that I am adding one more method to upload the file. So I have added this method, which is a private async task of string, write file. It is also accepting this from file, form file. And here I am taking the extension from the file name dot split by splitting the dot. Next, I am going to upload into my application upload slash files folder. If it is exist or if it is not exist, it will create the directory. Or else it will skip this part and it will come to our path to write. So using a stream file stream, I am writing to the specified path. So let's create a path on same like I am going to so this is my upload and one more is file. So inside this I am there will be one folder. And that folder name will be files. So now I am uh, my file upload part is done. Uh, we are not using any external NuGet packages. Equal to and it will accept this parameter. Now let's and now it will return my file name. So now let's run the application and see it is uploading and getting our file name or not. Excuse me. Once it is run, the Swagger UI will come. So our application got run. So this is our Swagger UI. We have post upload file API we have created. Try it out. Here you can see. So let's, I'm adding this particular thumbnail. Okay, now 
click on execute so you can see it's coming a response body a png file name right now stop the application from running go to solution explorer in the files you can see it is uploaded in this way we can upload our file to our web api now next task is to response or to download the file how we can do this so let's write one more api so we have a api name download file it will accept the file name so with that png file that uh, time dot tick so we have giving date time the now dot ticks dot extension so it will accept that file name and it will download it for that i am taking this path so this will be same okay so in the combined section also here i am taking adding the file name which is user will put paste okay next i am taking a provider which is a file extension content time pro provider we need to add a using statement microsoft asp.net code dot static file right now if provider try get content type content type will be oct it is stream next thing getting the bytes read all bytes from this file path then it will return the byte content type which is a stream in the file name now run the application and see it is working properly or not so first let's see upload file uh, let's upload a different image so i am uploading this today session thumbnail youtube thumbnail so we got our file name now if we go to our download file api so here if we are giving try it out give the file name execute so you can see download file is coming so this is our thumbnail so in this way we can upload and download file in our dotnet core web api application guys if you like this session give me a like and share this video with your friends thank you very much and one more thing i'll just source code link on the video description please download and check it out thank you